Good day, everybody, and welcome to a new to the Man of Morning Star Communication Network, MC Ministries. Spreading the living word of God through over 200 countries, and welcome to our broadcast. I'm Brian Hewitt of Morning Star Communication Network, MC Ministries, spreading the living word of God. As the Nathan the Man come forward on this special day of Martin Luther King celebration uh, throughout the entire world. And we are going to be speaking of the scriptures that uh, we often heard of as young children hearing Martin Luther speak and how they should have, how this leader, this man, has brought us to a time of togetherness, a time of being one, a time of, to move forward into Christ. Let's go, let's get a clean sheet of no, notebook paper. We'll be doing some tap dancing through the scriptures, as always, and let's um, go before the throne of God of prayer. We'll be turning to Genesis 37 as our foundation scripture, and let's go before the throne of God of prayer. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love, your truth. Uh, your truth sets us off free. We thank you for the unity of this day to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We walk in your love. Let's pray in your spirit. Speak of the truth. Speak, learn, and live of the gospel. For in this name, of all names, in the Master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, it is great to be refreshed coming back into the new year getting my wife healthy and blessed and wealthy and, and uh, being of, of knowing that we are born to serve God. We are led and blessed by God to move into being the righteousness of Him, to reach and teach all, and to share in the love of the Lord Jesus Christ ever some more every day. Brethren, this comes at a special time that we seek the truth, we seek His love, we seek His moment ever some more every day. Let's go right into Genesis chapter 37. Jack, and we're going to verses 18 through 20. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer cometh. Come now therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into the sun pit, and we will slay him. Some evil beast hath devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. Thank you, Jesus, for the blessing of the reading of this word. Let's go right to, again, that was Genesis 37, 18 through 20. Now let's go to Isaiah 58, verse 2. Yet they seek me daily, and delight to know my ways. As a nation that did righteousness and forsook not the ordinance of their God. They ask me the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. Thank you, Jesus. We make our approach to God for the everlasting change of Christ. We move upon all the realities that God has blessed us to have and to move and to touch and to seek and to move into one mind and one judgment of Christ. We seek all. We love all. We express all and all to each and every one of us. Guide us and bless us to this everlasting time. Guide us and bless us, O Lord, to the power of your witness. To witness others the opportunity of change, to share of leadership, what we learned of this one man, and how he taught us to reach, to teach what peace is, what peace is a gift from God. We cannot just have the formality of discussing peace. We must bring it to the header. We must bring it to the prayers. We must bring it by witnessing others too in the name of Jesus Christ and guiding us for that sweet embrace of his love, his truth, our truth sets us all free in Jesus' precious name. <clears throat> Are you willing, brethren, to make such a change in your life that you can bring the power of this time to bring into the power of his love right now, guiding us 
to this day. Jesus Christ is the healer of all healers. Jesus Christ comes to us and bringing us the approach of this day, where we are, this morning, early morning, and this time frame of the evening hours across Europe, of the early morning hours in the Pacific Rim nations of Australia, New Zealand, Vietnam, Japan. Come, let us be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. Let us be of this nat natural mindset, but to move away from the natural mindset and to be of the supernatural. Dear Jesus, come into our love, come into our time, coming into this opportunity that we have for all in Jesus' precious name. Seeking of the truth, seeking of his love, seeking of all that we have, guiding us to that embrace, guiding us to this powerful message of the now of faith. But we must back up our faith with works. We must move into the countless times that God is bringing us to the power of change. To bring all into his time frame, to bring all into his love, to bring all into the connection that we have. The connection that we have to each and every one of us. Guiding us to that time, his endless frame of his love, right now. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for this time. We thank you for your love, your truth, how your truth sets us all free. We thank you for all in all of this master's name of Jesus. And we bring all into the accordance of all the truth. We seek all into the accordance of your love. We seek all into the accordance of your time, forever and ever. Amen. And amen. And amen. Today is a day that has different meanings to all. We heard this man speak of his own prophet prophecies the day before he was killed by expressing that he's been to the mountaintop. How he gave us that great speech, which if I, if I heard the history correct, his I had a dream speech came right from the Spirit. It was supposed to be a, a speech with the, many other ministers that they would share about five minutes. The Spirit took him over. The Spirit just came and came and came and spoke to him. And of this time, he shared with us an incredible change in the power of Christ. Come into this time, come into this love, come into this reality that we have, for all to seek the change and all to seek the truth. Are we ready for the change? Can we bring this time right now? Forever and ever. Second Corinthians chapter 13 verse 11. Finally, brothers, rejoiced. Aim for restoration. Comfort one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. So we cannot have conflict. We cannot have resentment. Resentment, as my wife would say, is like a bus ticket straight to, to hell. You cannot have any form of resentment in your life. Why? Because God did not create the spirit of resentment. Because that totally creates that black hole in your heart. And God cannot give you a new heart as long as you have resentment in that old heart. Romans chapter 4, 14, 17 through 19. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Whoever thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. So then let us pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. 
the love, the obedience, the trust, the faith. So, most important, that joy of the morning. We may be having some tears today. We may be having some tribulation today, but it makes us stronger for that new day upon us. <clears throat> My wife coordinates with me uh, our health and wellness network, the Hewitt Health and Wellness Network, called HHWN blog over the blogosphere. And today, we put together, she put together the elegance what the Spirit told her. And thus, it is, let us rejoice of this day of history. Let us learn of today, of this history, and make us stronger tomorrow. For today, we're at our best. Tomorrow will be even better. First Peter chapter 1, verse 2, According to the foreknowledge of God the Father and the sanctification of the Spirit, for obedience to Jesus Christ and for the sprinkling with his blood, may grace and peace be multiplied to you. Grace and peace will be multiplied to you as you move into that walk of walking in love, walking in God's grace, opening up the Bible and learning of the Bible and receiving those who wish to teach the Bible, the bishops, the pastors, the teachers, the evangelists, the prophets. Then to pray ceaselessly and to pray in the Spirit. And then finally, backing up your faith with works. By going and being witnessing and bringing the lost souls into the kingdom of God. Coming into this time, the resemblance that we have, and guiding each and every one of us to his loving truth, to his time, to his magnificence. We come into the time of the broadcast where well, we are a hurting world. We have people killing innocent people that work at a natural gas tank in Northern Africa, Algeria to be precise, while the French soldiers are trying to bring peace and a presence in the country of Mali. But what I'll say to these terrorists is the obvious. You don't, your God is not the God that I serve, but your God is a God of fear. And you create fear because it is such a just way for all of your way to breathe. But God is coming back with a vengeance. Those who have not turned their life over to God, those who have not understood and lived the breath and breathed and the word of grace, will not come home to the land of eternity in the name of the kingdom of God. For those who don't know Christ, we wish for you to come forward today. This is our part of the broadcast where we invite our experienced bishops, ministers, and pastors to bring all that they have met this coming week and the week before to share in the inheritance of the Lord Jesus Christ by coming forward in the name of Jesus. Jesus. God is married to the backslider. That is you and I and everybody else that has ever breathed on this earth. And there are no exceptions. There is no exceptions when anyone feels that they're too dark to know God or too good to know God, and I've met both, but I've said that to myself and my wife, Anita, face to face. Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God, I admit, repeat this up to me, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to turn from my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life, fill me, and take control, and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. Thank you, Jesus. That's my wife praising your name in the back. I don't know if your name is up to the heavenlies, but most of all, the angels of heaven are singing your names before the throne of God. Before the throne of God. Your first offering should be the offering of obedience. So get yourself into faith-based, spirit-led church, midweek Bible study, Sunday service of the saints, and fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. That means ironing, sharpened iron. Learning from the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, from the, from the pages leaping into that new heart of yours from the gospel, the double-edged sword, which is the living word of God. Come into this peace. Come into this world. <clears throat> and bring change by having you be part of our Bless organization of Monistar Communication or Gemini Ministries. We are 501c3 Church here in the United States. We're calling you to come and visit us at BrianTewitt.com and get to know us because we want to get to know you. 
invite you to travel and to be with us to guide us to all in his time, to all in his loving truth, and to all of this time, forever and ever. Amen. And with this time, with this love, with this peace that we have, we come into the presence of God. You are the sower, but the power is in the seed that you plant. And Jesus Christ will show you the, that vision as you plant your seed into this ministry. And that's John chapter 4, verse 35. That your harvest is now, your fields are white. It's ready for the picking. And God's going to, as you have these provisions blessed with you, God's going to prune you on your way. God's going to delicate you, mold you, and guide you into this time, into his love forever some more. God, bring us from the vision to the manifestation. The living word of God is always praying of revealing the manifestation of God's glory. Malachi chapter 3 is, And birthed above, birthed above your heads, that the windows of heaven will open up above you, put down blessings upon you, that you have no room in your storehouse to plant them, to keep them or save them. In Jesus' precious name. Now there are two separate journeys you can take to send us your tithes and offerings. One is to visit us at bryantwood.com. Click on our contact link there. You'll see our, our name and address of our blessed organization. You can make your checks payable to Morningstar Communication Network, MCM Ministries. Again, we are your 501c3 church here in the United States. Right above that is a donation link. You can send that right away. And we will be showing you, guiding you to that embrace, to that love, to that time as you bless us and guide us and you'll be helping millions of people with your blessings. God's going to bless you a million times every time you sow unto us. So brethren, we thank you for your prayer and support ahead of time you'll, and you will, will begin, even though this is the beginning part of 2013, your tax donation, your, your tithes and offerings will be in the year of 2013 so you get a, a a letter from us thanking us for your prayer support and they'll be for your tax records and for your personal records as well. God loves you. God is bringing you to the road of faith, trust, obedience. Romans chapter 5 verse 1, Therefore since we have been justified by faith, we have peace through, with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Guiding us, brethren, to that embrace of his truth, to guide us with his love, with his purpose, to guide us of the mainstream that we all have, the mainstream that the God, the wisdom herself, brings us by the hand to the to that river, and blesses and guides us and baptizes in the name of eternity, in the name of Jesus Christ. We are kingdom bound, but we have a lot of work to do on this footstool called earth. We are raised in the praise every day and being witness to others as others are. And then we bring those, those people to be a witness to those that are lost. No matter what corner of the world you are living in, whether you are homeless or whether you are rich in Beverly Hills or, or any portions of the world, from Russia to Saudi Arabia to Australia, God loves you. Come and put all your prayers and supplications, name it and claim it. We just can't say, oh God, I lift my praise to you, I love you. Just name it and claim it with what we want God to do for us. And then we will serve the God Almighty for his love, for his truth, ever so more, every day. Martin Luther King, what he did for me as a young child, and now as a prophet of the Lord Jesus Christ and his in God's army, and along with my wife, showed that we don't live and breathe for the world. We live and breathe for God. We will live for Jesus. We will die for Jesus. Die for Jesus. We come into all into the accordance of his truth. And Martin Luther King taught us that we may be the dreamers. We may cry that I have a dream. Or that we have been to the mountaintop together. We're not, we may not get there at the same time, kingdom bound, but we'll get there. In Jesus' precious name. So, with one step at a time, with God's pacing you, let's wait on the Lord together. Let's wait on the Lord and be strong with the new unity of the Holy Spirit to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. For this is your predestined goal. 
Matthew 6, 13. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. And how is this able to happen? God is good. God is wise. God is able. We walk by faith and not by sight. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit, a one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for this time, your love, your truth, your expressions of your love. Guide us through that incredible time, your love, your moment of your expression of faith. In the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this afternoon live from Los Angeles, California. Once again, I'm Brian Tewitt. On behalf of my anointed, beautiful wife, Anita Hewitt, and the man, here is truly Brian Tewitt. We thank you for your time until next time. Do stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades and pastors' conferences coming to your part of the world in 2013. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir. Adios. Good day. For the people.